Hi friends, if you want to acquire good marks in your classes, you must, must, must make as much as diagram as you can. Now we will going to cover the right ventricle, the right ventricle. There are the two surfaces of it as uh, in previous video we told about uh, the sternocostal surface and uh, the another is one is the diaphragmatic surface. The diaphragm is lying somewhere higher. So, and uh, now let me tell you something about the cavity of the right ventricle. The right ventricle cavity is crescent in shape. It's moon shaped because of the forward bulge of the interventricular septum. And you can also see the wall is thin as compared to that of the left ventricle. As left ventricle need to push blood to the whole of the body as compared to this the right ventricle we didn't push the blood to the lungs. So now we are going to try to understand other parts. So interior part of the right atrium. We open the heart right here. Okay. So if we open the heart, the interior part has the two things. It is the rough surface and it's a smooth surface. The rough is which it is rough due to the presence of trabeculae carne and a smooth is outflowing part that is the pulmonary trunk part right the pulmonary trunk part this is the pulmonary trunk right so the two part rough and smooth are separated by supraventricular crest so here the pulmonary valves are present and this is the anterior cusp of tricuspid valve and this is the anterior papillary muscles which is here these are the chordae tendinae right and there lies the supraventricular crest trabeculae cornae are of the three types number first one type is ridge right and the second type you apply you write b it's bridge type and third one type a bridge is standing on the pillars third one is the pillars one is attached to the ventricle wall and other is attached to the cusp the tricuspid cusp by the cordy tendine thank you